Hello, my name is Tyler McTeer. I'm a B-level wastewater operator at Buford Jasper Water and Sewer Authority. I enjoy being out on the water, swimming and fishing, which led me to, to the treatment side of things to uh, keep the water safe and clean. This is our wastewater lab. We run all of our process control samples. Um, over here, we have our plant where we can control the plant on the computer and monitor it at all times throughout the day. We got our microscope where we look at all the bugs that are eating the bacteria within the plant. We come over here to test, we run a cetylometer test. And we got the pH meter. This is our buffers for calibrating the pH meters. Uh, up here we have all of our uh, sample jugs. For our sample days, we have to carry samples across to the, to the main lab for different tests to be run. Hello, my name is Ryan. I'm the Chief Wastewater Operator here at Port Royal for Buford Jasper Water Sewer Authority. So these, um, our sample bottles are up here. These are, we'll, we'll test ammonia, um, nitrates, um, biological oxygen demand, which is um, uh, total suspended solids. Uh, this is the pH meter. Um, it's the power of hydrogen is what pH stands for. And it tests how acidic or how basic the water is. Uh, these are our buffers. So to make sure that this pH meter is calibrated co correctly, you need to test it at a four, seven, and 10 range to make sure that they're all correct. Yeah. This is our centrifuge. This actually spins a mixed liquor. So what we'll do is we'll put in the flock that you saw all those bacteria in and we'll spin it and we'll be able to get a reading. And that's how much bacteria you know you have in the plant. This is our suspended solid burner. Um, what we can do is test to see how um, how dry our solids are that we're getting off our belt press or um, or check our mixed liquor to see how much um, actual uh, dry solids are in this or in our plant. Refrigerator is very important. This stores all our samples. You need them between one degree Celsius and five degrees Celsius to preserve them. This is our oven for intercocci. Um, the intercoccus virus um, is, is what we test in here. This is an incubator and what it'll do, it'll keep these at 41 degrees Celsius for 24 hours and we can take these out and test them and see if they get hot, if they have any viruses in them or not. So you can see that this one would have some viruses in it. That's what a virus indicator looks like. That's a control sample. It pops up blue. This is our sealer. What this does is this seals our Kwani trays. So what we do is we take these trays, we'll fill them with our effluent or cleaned wastewater, and we'll fill this all up and then we'll seal it. We'll put it in here like this, we'll run it through a sealer, it'll glue it. And what this will do, is, and then we can take this pack and put it in our incubator or our water bath to allow it to sit and incubate for the viruses to either turn up positive or hopefully there'll be no, no viruses in our wastewater. This is our water bath. This um, tests for total fecal coliform instead of the enterococcus virus. So um, it incubates at 45.5 degrees Celsius um, for 18 to 22 hours. And you can see it recirculates. Um, and then we'll pull that sample out of there and test it. And if it's uh, yellow, we'll have um, fecal in our effluent. And if it's not, then we have zero. What we're doing today is we're looking at the bacteria in the wastewater that actually eat the waste that come into the treatment plant. Here we have our microscope, which we take a sample of the aeration basin that we were on, and we can identify all the microorganisms and bacteria that we talked about that will eat the waste coming in. And these will identify what type of treatment process you have. If you have stalk ciliates and free swimmers and flagellites, you have really good settling sludge. So what happens in that big circle clarifier, all the sludge will compact and the clear water will rise to the top. If you have something over here, like free swimmers and amoeboids, you're in trouble. You're gonna to need to actually slow down on your wasting. The sludge is way too young. You're gonna to need to grow them up and get some adult microorganisms in your treatment plant. And over here, if you have some pin flocking with nematodes and rotifers, you have some older sludge and they're too old and, and you need to waste more. You have way too much bacteria in your treatment plant. So you'll have pin flocking and 
straggler and pin flocking and TSS going out your effluent. It won't look pretty, it won't be really clear. What we're doing today is we're looking at the bacteria in the wastewater that actually eat the waste that come into the treatment plant. So what you see here is a stalk ciliate forming. And you can actually see a free swimmer cell moving around right there, it's coming down, and it just, it just actually grabbed on to this stalk. So it's really, really important um, to check for these in your wastewater treatment plant. Um, and then you know you have a healthy, a healthy bacteria and a healthy flock. Um, and what that indicates is that all the waste that everybody flushes down the toilet, these bacteria will end up eating the bacteria that eats that waste. So then we know that we can discharge um, clean water to our rivers.